Hey, what's up friends? Mark Holmes here and as always I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh my god. Whew. I am back. Back on the block. Back. Back on the block. Oh boy. Um, been down the country there working on getting a uh, rental property and stuff taken care of passed all the inspections and so the lady will be moving in this weekend so I got that at least off my plate and I just finished driving 153 miles and I'm back home and um, I need you guys to do something for me um, I got to check with brother Roz and maybe in about an hour we'll be doing our pick segment tonight and we'll, we'll get that out of the way uh, I got to check and make sure he's available and I got to get get something to eat but I need you guys you know, uh, Stuart, normally we would be doing the show with Stuart. The last week we did not do it, and we dedicated the show to Stuart uh, because he's been in the hospital. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Stuart has, is, is paralyzed. Um, he has paralysis in his legs, and he's had, I want to say four surgeries, but it may be five. Um, he's had his fourth and fifth toe amputated on his foot. Uh, they've done different artery surgeries and things on there. Uh, trying to save the foot and things and tomorrow or the next day he's found out his arteries uh, in his heart are clogged up and reducing the flow and stuff on there so he's actually having a risky surgery either tomorrow or the next day to put four stents in to help open it up um, so I need or he needs definitely the power of the Joe Boo fans uh, support and thoughts and stuff because he's he you know he's worried and he's going through a whole lot you know anybody having five surgeries in in two weeks is a lot and uh, I, I try to explain to him that this is all the process of getting better you know it's it, it's hard now don't worry about it it's going to be okay but uh, I need your thoughts and stuff on that um, today was the first day for our Cowboys getting back on the field. And we know Dak Prescott hurt his cap on the game-winning throw um, to CeeDee Lamb um, last week, or yeah, before the bye week. Um, and of course, we take for granted that Dak Prescott's just gonna be there because, well, we take for granted that he's just gonna be there. Um, he's been doing treatment and everything, you know, throughout the whole course of the bye week and things and you know Jerry Dr. Jerry Jones said he it's not even a thought in my mind uh, about, about how the leg is um, but today in practice he was limited and this is where I'm trying to dig up down a little bit deeper um, below the surface if this is gamemanship where they're trying to put in doubt who to prepare for for the Minnesota Vikings, or is this to create a little extra drama or, or what? But it's something about the way I've been hearing some of the stuff. You know, CeeDee Lamb, of course, went through and said, hey, you look like the same old Dak, no worries. But Zeke Elliott, Zeke Elliott, who knows Dak better than anybody else, he said, shout out to Gina, thanks for sharing this with me while I was on the road. I know he wants to play. We all know the competitor Dak is. If he's able to be out there and play, he's going to play. He's been doing everything he can to make sure he's able to play in this game. He's going to exhaust all resources. That doesn't sound like, yeah, he's going to play. I want, I know he wants to play. We all want to, hey, I want to play right now. I, listen, I want to play. I want to play, but the reality is I, I can't. I, I can't. The Cowboys, first of all, wouldn't let me on the field. It'd be a liability. I don't physically have it in me to be able to play, but I want to play. We all know the competitive. Hey, you know I'm. You know I'm competitive. You know I'm competitive. If he's able to be out there and play, he's going to play. He's been doing everything he can to make sure that he's able to play in this game. He's good, going to exhaust all resources. Also, 
Dak Prescott was limited participant in practice today. Same for quarterback Diggs, uh, Tyron Smith, Doris Armstrong, all of who have ankle injuries. Also, an hour before Zeke said this, this late, latest statement, I hope Dak will be available from what we are hearing. It sounds like he will be available, but not saying I'm worried. I'm not worried about it because obviously we want to have Dak out there. But I have a lot of confidence in Cooper Rush. He had a great day today. This got me worried. CeeDee Lamb, same Dak, he looks great to me. He looks perfectly fine. I don't know. I don't know. Is all I can say that this has now got me with a little shadow of a doubt on how it is. Now, again, it's only Wednesday. It's the first day. Uh, nobody's practiced for several days because it's the bye week. And some of the guys were saying they looked a little bit rusty and out of sync and stuff because it's the first practice after having, you know, an extended break for the first time since training camp started. So there's going to be a little bit of rust. There's going to be a little bit of rust. But, and, and, you know, a lot of times guys aren't practicing on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then by Friday they're feeling a bit better, and by Sunday they're playing. So that's where we are with this. I wish I could tell you definitively Dak is going to play or definitively that he's not going to play, um, but we just don't know. It's too early in the week. But Zeke Elliott's words have definitely raised the, the red flag to me to wonder um, where we are exactly with this leg. I guess we'll find out over the course of the next couple of days or so. And uh, please don't forget to put those thoughts in prayers. For Brother Stu, he definitely needs them. Um, we sent him a, a shirt. Um, I forgot exactly what it says. Um, but basically, you're an Iron Man. And um, that's exactly what he is. All right, y'all. I'm going to need to go up, take a shower, get cleaned up, and get with Brother Ross so we can bring you our picks for this week. I think my picks last week, they were bad. The Lions, I think, screwed everybody. For the Lions to stay that close, I mean, they were like 19-point underdogs or something like that. For them to stay close, hmm, yeah. Yeah, I know that was definitely a bad one for me. But, hey, this week's another week. Whew. All right, Mark, get up. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, there we go. Peace.